What is up, Warpath? We are back with another exciting video today. T today, we are going to be covering the 5.10 update, specifically the brand new officers that are going to be coming with the 5.1 update. We've got three brand new officers. We've got one new artillery officer and then two brand new Air Force officers. So we're going to be taking a dive into all of those. We're going to look at their skills, look at their awakened skills. We're going to talk about some potential pairings and what I think might be best with them and what units might make the most sense for them as well. Uh, with that being said, just for full uh, clarification and disclaimer here, this is recorded on a test server. I was given early access to this server uh, for this update by Lilith, just so I can make sure I bring you guys all of the most accurate, up-to-date, and entertaining content uh, regarding all of the things with the 5.10 update. With that being said, this is not my real account. This is not a real server. This account is not for sale. This is simply a test account on a test server. So, with that being said, we're going to jump right into it, and we are going to cover all of the brand new three officers we've got. Welcome back, guys. Let's jump right into it. So we are going to start off here covering the brand new artillery specific officer. We have got Berserker Bear here. He is going to be a Martyr's Camp officer. Um, he is geared more towards the rocket trucks. I mean, he can be used on any artillery unit, but he's geared more towards rocket trucks and things like that. So we're going to take a dive into his skills uh, and see what we think. Uh, skill one here is going to be artillery, uh, artillery fire range from the sky. Dealing damage to an enemy troop. Damage coefficient is 1,500. That's pretty That's pretty impressive. And increasing the blast damage of this officer's artillery by 25% for 8 seconds. Skill number 2 is going to be increases the HP of this officer's artillery by 20%. Skill 3 increases the firepower of this officer's artillery by 30%. If leading a rocket launcher troop increases firepower by an extra 5%, so for a total of 35% if leading a uh, rocket launcher troop. Skill 4, when this officer's troop kills an enemy unit, it has a 30% chance to shorten skill prep time by 1 second. This skill can be triggered 1 time every 8 seconds, okay? Alright, let's take a look at the awakened skill here. This officer's artillery troop Attacks have 30% chance to set the target on fire, dealing damage every second, damage coefficient 100 for 4 seconds. Okay, alright, that's uh, pretty interesting, uh, to say the least. So you can set fire to these things. Uh, the one skill that really doesn't make a lot of uh, sense to me, I guess, uh, is the increase of the troop that this officer is paired with uh, by... 20% our, uh, officer's artillery troop by 20%. I mean, now, like, I guess it technically speaking helps, especially if you're sending units out into army groups and they're going to be in the field. But, like, just generally speaking, artillery troops, rocket launchers, things like that, they're just very weak units. So I'm not really sure that the uh, HP increase is going to be that uh, noticeable or that different or important. Uh, but I, I guess technically anything helps, but that's the one skill that really is kind of uh, not super relevant or not super impressive to what we've got going on here. But nonetheless, some of these other ones are this damage coefficient of 1500 is huge, guys. That's freaking huge. Um, so with that being said, that's kind of the breakdown of all four of the standard skills plus the awakened skill. Uh, what I find interesting, though, and I want to I want to give you guys my thoughts and, and my opinion here and. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys think uh, in the comments as well. But here on skill four, it says when this officer's troop kills an enemy unit, it has a 30% chance to shorten skill prep time by one second. This skill can be triggered one time every eight seconds. So what comes to my mind, because as we've read through this, it doesn't really say anywhere about it being the lead officer at all which means that it could be the lead officer or the secondary officer, and all of the skills are still going to apply. Um, versus something like Antonina, where a lot of the skill is based around her being the lead officer. So with this being said, what I could potentially think uh, could be a good pairing 
is obviously we've got pr kind of the standard, uh, especially since he's more of a field-based artillery unit, or I'm sorry, artillery officer. Um, it makes a lot of sense to potentially have Eruptor with him as well for the increased fire rate plus the increased in increase in structural damage. However, if you're one of those players that is, is kind of geared more towards maybe using rocket trucks and going out and like field fighting with it, um, you know, sniping artillery, things like that, uh, what I could potentially see being a very, very good pair here with this officer is going to be, um, let's find him, is going to be tip of the spear, right? Because he's based, he needs to be the lead officer for his skills, where the new artillery officer does not, but that fourth skill there it has a chance to shorten the skill prep time, right? We've got this here. When serving as leader reduces the prep time of their troop skills by one and a half seconds. So we're basically, we're, we're basically, um, what, what am I trying to say here? You're, you're basically having a chance if it works, and once it comes out, we'll definitely be testing it out. Um, but you're potentially going to have a chance to really s speed up the skill uh, firing off of this uh, unit's, tr uh, like, uh, of these officers, essentially, if it does stack and it does work like it sounds like it might. So I don't know. We're going to test it. We're going to test it out, and we're going to obviously see if, uh, you know, it's actually true or applicable or not and we'll bring you guys all of that information as always uh but that's just kind of my thoughts i think it could be great for uh you know whatever unit you're sending out into army groups uh rocket trucks anything that's really going to be attacking a base or in the field uh with that being said let's jump over here to our air force officer so we've got a couple new air force officers we've got a fighter officer and a bomber officer okay the first one is going to be silver comet silver comet's going to be the fighter officer uh skill one this officer's troop gains a 40% uh, bonus to damage after entering combat and a 30% bonus to maneuverability after 20 seconds. These bonuses get lost after exiting combat. Skill 2 increases the intercept of this officer's fighter plane by 35%. Skill 3, this officer's fighter plane troop gains 35% firepower when f uh, for four seconds after dodging an enemy attack skill four this officer's fighter plane troop has a 10 percent chance of landing a critical strike while attacking dealing an additional 50 percent damage okay uh the awakened skill after dodging an enemy attack this officer's fighter plane troop has a 70 percent chance to set to fire a missile at an enemy air force troop Damage coefficient is 200. This skill can be triggered every 4 seconds. The missile does 10% extra damage if you have tip of spear deployed as a ground force officer. So that's very interesting. I find that kind of uh, fascinating a little bit that they're now incorporating officers uh, together, essentially, between ground and air force. Uh, it doesn't say anything about tip of spear having to be awakened, and it doesn't say anything about tip of spear uh, having to be level 60. It doesn't say anything about tip of spear having to be the lead officer in the uh, actual army composition or army and officer uh, unit setup for your ground force. It just said if tip of spear is deployed, obviously it would make more sense if he's awakened uh, in level 60 and he can actually benefit you. But if not, and you're real heavy on air force, you can just throw him in your army composition. If I'm understanding this correctly and you have a chance to, to fire off missiles uh, when this officer is awakened. I see a couple of different ways this officer can be used um, because his skills kind of, in a sense, play well to the Liberty Fighter because you're getting extra bonus damage, um, intercept, right? You're getting firepower gain, which the Liberty uh, Fighter plane is geared more towards the firepower. But I'm also intrigued by this officer because there's a lot of different maneuverability buffs included in here as well, which lead me to believe that it may be a really good pairing with Heaven Savior um, on maybe something like a Martyr's Fighter that's geared more towards like the maneuverability and the dodging aspect because again this officer uh, has nowhere in here it doesn't say that it has to be the lead officer uh, in Heaven Savior to get all of his skills and the benefits you you do have to have him as the lead officer so Heaven Savior paired with Sil Silver Comet maybe a good combination because you've got firepower bonus things like that you can basically Keep, you can increase the maneuverability and the dodging ability of the Martyr's Fighter, but you're also going to... The Martyr's Fighter isn't really geared towards firepower or damage necessarily, but with this officer, 
when awakened, you can kind of add that dynamic into it. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like as well. So the third officer we've got here is a brand new uh, bomber officer. He's part of the Vanguard faction, uh, Rictus Reaper. Let's see what he's got. Skill one is every bombing completed increases the damage of this officer's troop by 18%. Okay, that's pretty uh, significant. Skill two increases the firepower of this officer's bomber by 30%. Skill three increases the damage resist of this officer's troop by 15%. I'm sure there's a lot of you uh, players out there that are geared heavy towards bombers that are going to very, very much welcome that skill. Uh, skill four is this officer's bomber troop has a 40% chance to recover HP after killing an enemy unit. Healing coefficient is 500. Interesting. I'm sure that definitely, after seeing that skill, that right there is going to be very much welcomed by a lot of you uh, bomber players that are real gear. I know I know a lot of people out there that have two or three uh, 7.2 or now modernized Liberty bombers, uh, and that's going to be a huge, huge uh, asset to you, being able to have a chance to recover the HP on your bomber troop, okay? The Awakened skill, after completing a bombing, this officer's bomber troop drops an additional bomb, dealing massive damage. Damage coefficient is 2,500, 20% less to each additional target, increasing its patrol speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Okay, so this adds a kind of dynamic to it. So it says after the complete after completing a bombing, this officer drops an additional bomb, dealing massive damage. So I can see this going a couple of different ways. Obviously, um, it's going to be beneficial on something like the Liberty Bomber for the HP recovery and things like that. Uh, and the damage resist if you're using a Liberty Bomber maybe to tank, uh, you know, and then follow it up with other bombers. But I can also see this with this extra bomb skill here uh, and the massive damage coefficient that it does. I can see this being a game changer for the Vanguard Bomber or the Martyr's Bomber, right? The Vanguard Bomber is geared more towards targeting artillery units, and the, the Martyr's is geared towards uh, targeting tanks, and they lock on and they follow those units uh, in the field. So when you complete a bombing run, especially if you've got Pixie awakened and paired with this officer, you're going to get the extra bombing run, which is going to deal even more damage, plus you're going to have this massive damage coefficient after the bombing... Uh, or the after it's completed doing its bombing so that's gonna net, that's probably gonna be pretty uh pretty significant in terms of the amount of damage uh that those two bombers can do against the artillery and the tank troops in the field and things like that so it's gonna add a very interesting dynamic to this guys um i'm sure this is really welcomed by some and it's probably not gonna be super welcomed by others and that's okay that's kind of part of every update uh, but that is an uh, interesting set of skills. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by that officer. I can see that officer becoming a pretty relevant officer. Um, and I think the skills overall, at least on paper, definitely seem to make it worth the time, especially if you're geared more towards bombers, uh, to leveling it up. Uh, so that's kind of my take on that, guys. Like I said, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions. Give me your feedback on these officers, what you think. Think of just their skills in general, which uh, units you think they're going to be paired best with. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And, uh, that, that pretty much covers it. Those are the three brand new officers. Um, it doesn't really clarify here, um, at least on this test server, if these officers are going to be leveled up or be able to be leveled up with universal statues, or if they're going to require, uh, you know, uh, like something behind a, a paywall, such as the bar again, like, uh, saber of the nation. Uh, I anticipate that potentially one of these is going to be behind a wall. Uh, one of them may be able to be acquired through a conquest event, or maybe they're all three just automatically going to be able to be attained um, and and leveled up with universal statues. But I don't think that's probably going to be the case because that would mean that uh, you know there would be no money to be made out of this for Lilith, and you know we know that they like to make money. So. We'll see once it drops what this all looks like. Um, so with that being said, guys, if you guys did stick around um, and you guys are still watching, if you guys enjoyed this video, found this video helpful, uh, definitely please drop a like on the video if you have not already. If you guys are enjoying the videos and are not subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button as it does help me out tremendously. And lastly, if you guys have access to Discord and you guys are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that server is going to be in the pinned comment below as well as in the description of the video below. 
We've got players from all across Warpath, all different servers, all different alliances over there. Tons of super helpful people. We're having a great time. We would love for you guys to join. So um, if you guys do have access to Discord and do want to come join us over there in the community server, you're more than welcome to. The link is going to be below. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching, and we will catch you guys on the next one.